So guys, what's up? Um, today is actually going to be a pretty helpful video for you guys. So this is the normal stock stampede slash you name it front drive shaft. And you see how there's that coupling up there or a spacer? That is so... Wait, hold on one second. Put that camera down. That is so for some reason they they have like a really big bearing. Like a really big bearing up in there. So it's not the standard uh wheel hub bearing like they have in the rear for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't think that really matters. Maybe it does. I don't know. But this they're just like an off brand eBay axle. They're steel. That's why I bought them, is because they're steel. A little bit of rust right there on the spline. But you see how they have like square U joints where the Traxxas ones are bald? These can get at such higher, um, such more angled, or these can be more angled and still turn freely like that. Where these will, they will bind if they are like right there. If you increase the angle, they will bind like oh, right there. But. On the slash 4x4, you don't really have much of an angle on it, so they're okay for me. I've had these on the back of this already. But today, we are actually going to be putting these on the front, and that's what this whole video is about. This will work for any axle. Any axle that has uh, the stock, I guess you could say, shaft for the wheel hub, sub axle. It'll work for any axle, it'll work for MIPs, it'll work for the stock ones, you am not sure why you would do that, but if, I don't recommend doing this if you have the funds to go out and buy x duties or something. I'm doing this because I don't want to spend the money again, I already spent it here, so I could go out and buy them, I have the money to do it, I just don't really want to, because that's another $50, $60 item. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. For those of you that have no idea what I just said, I'm going to explain a little bit more. So this is the front axle. You see how there's that lip on it? Right there where my pointer finger is. This is the rear axle. See how there's no lip on it? By the end of the day, we're basically going to f*** these two together and make this. They're going to breed with each other. We're going to make this for the front. This is completely... You can take this off if you really, really want to. It's just a piece of plastic on a piece of metal. All it is is a little adapter. But I'm going to show you the steps through that. So the first step I found myself doing is I actually already fucked one of these up. I cut it too short. And it wasn't tight on the shaft. So I'm just going to go through with a pair of wire cutters. Nothing special. And cut the ends of it off. This could be broken or not. It really doesn't matter. But this is the only one I have at the time. So hopefully this works. Just like that, just make it clean. We're gonna go back through, we're gonna take this sander right there and sand it up, make it really, really nice and all that, yeah. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shaft out, because I the shaft's still in it, it's through a pin. I'm gonna take it out, I'm actually gonna drill it, size it up and everything, and then I'm gonna take it off and keep refitting it to make sure that it gets that tight bond. There's gonna be no play in it, it's what I wanna that's what I'm aiming for. Let's see how far away I can get that. After you drilled it, just make a really clean hole on it. And then we're going to test fit it on the shaft, see if it needs to be drilled out one or just need to round it up on the drill bit a little bit. So I just drilled the plastic washer or whatever you want to call it, the spacer. Come on, you piece of So, anyway, yeah, anyways, I just drilled it out, and, uh, you want this to be as tight on the shaft as you possibly, if it's really hard to get on and off, whatever, chances are if you're doing this, you're already going to have an upgraded axle, so, once you do that, just, there we go, you just want it to be as tight as you can, now, you see this first lip right here, I'm just going to take the old spleen, or spline, not spline, uh, sub axle, I'm going to put the pin through it, and I'm just going to cut that off. Just I'm going to take a hacksaw, I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to stand it and make it clean. So I'll get back to you when I do that. So I just got done sanding it, and uh, I pressed it in there, just in the back side of the bearing, just to see how 
good of a fit it was, and it seems to be a pretty good fit. I think I got to pull it back out, do a little bit more skinning on the back side to get that the pin through. But a couple more minutes, and I think I'll be done. Okay, it took a while, but I got that pin through, which means all I got to do is now just assemble it back on my car, and I'll show you what that is in a second. I already got one side on. Just want to make sure everything would like line up when it's turning and stuff. Before I did this one, but let me get on the car and right, get right back to you guys. So I just got done mounting them up. They look pretty sleek on the front. They kind of match the toe links a little bit. Kind of like it. Uh, shows them off, but uh, I was noticing that it does hit the A arm a little bit when I turn it this way. The back joint kind of kicks out a little bit. It doesn't hit it very much. It's kind of like got to get a little bit of broken in. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick test. It's getting pretty late. I'm just going to do a quick test, I'll show you guys what it looks like, then I'm going to go to bed, so. Yep. So I just got them mounted up, showing you guys what it's like, so. Just any other guy test. So you can see a little bit where they were hitting. Right, let me get a flashlight. Right next to the U-joint, just a little bit, not much. There's like a little breaking thing, but I'd much rather have a little bit of wear on the A-arm than spend 60 bucks on x duties But, you know, just, I would have done the money if I didn't already have these, but looks pretty good. I might rock it for a little bit until I f***ing break a U-joint or something, which will happen. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Just tips, running videos, reviews, etc. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, see you guys in the future. See you later.